Hey everyone, the name's Oscar Flower. Portal 1 features a fairly bite-sized amount of post-game content within it if you ever need to scratch that Portal gameplay fix some bit more. The most popular of these is the challenges, located in the bonus map section of the main menu, where you're able to select test chambers 13 to 18 to do specific challenges on them. These being firing the least amount of portals, solving the test chamber in the fastest time possible, and taking the least amount of steps. There are also accompanying achievements for these, being separated into three tiers of achieving all bronze medals, all silver medals, and all gold medals, making these a mandatory part of a 100% completionist run of Portal 1. However, right next to the challenges is the not too far removed cousin, being the advanced chambers. The advanced chambers are harder versions of test chambers 13 through 18, with the main intent being to spice them up by modifying the maps in new and interesting ways to make them more difficult to solve. There are fun novels to go through once you beat them in Portal 1 and need something new. It's a bit of a shame that people don't talk about them much, they're interesting challenges to go through. So, in this video, I aim to explore the original version of these advanced chambers. Just what were the Portal team's first attempts to make harder test chambers? Is there anything interesting to discover? Saddle in, we've got some fairly interesting differences to pick at here. For today, we'll be looking at how the advanced chambers stood as of December 2006, which is what most beta Portal maps are leaked are based on. Just because the maps all come from December 2006, however, doesn't mean it came from that era of development. A majority of the advanced chambers come from the Leipzig era, one of them comes from the X06 era, and as for the final two, Wolf Clark was unable to determine. Shoutouts to him for his Portal 1 era knowledge, by the way. These maps all have the exact same build date of October 9th, 2006, making it even more difficult to judge what era of development they're all from. It does, however, indicate that they seem to have been worked on relatively the same time. To analyze these beta advanced chambers, we'll be going one by one, starting with Test Chamber 13, which is the most unchanged trans beta version. The floor in the second main area is replaced with a flood of toxic goo and the cube from the first area is removed. There's only one main difference to this beta version being the lack of this metal platform here, which seems to be added on later in order to make the portal shots to Goo Field second area more forgiving. Death Chamber 14's advanced version has a similar story. The main contents that we see in the retail version being a floor to floor fling to reach the cube and the removal of the moving platforms from it intact. However, due to the fact that the test chambers had not been fully playtested to the extent that they are in retail, the metal floor preventing the player from choosing the entire test chamber had not been added yet. In comparison to our previous two, the story changes a lot here in Test Chamber 15. While Advanced Chamber 15's beginning area is almost unchanged in the retail, the second area with the energy pellet already begins to show some changes as its launcher is placed on the ceiling, requiring an additional redirect, and it has a way shorter lifespan, meaning timing is a lot more strict. The third room is the most changed, it's almost a new Test Chamber in and of itself, featuring a whole added segment and the Test Chamber is made absolutely massive, containing a more, well, advanced version of the puzzle normally featured here. I've seen people struggle on the original version of this puzzle, so I can't imagine what people would think seeing this original version of Advanced Chamber 15. The retail advanced version of this area simplifies the amount of space down to just be the one you featured normally, so ultimately, the change from its beta version to its release variant is just how it's structured rather than anything seriously changed gameplay-wise. The final area of this Advanced Chamber 15, however, is not done, so it lacks any notable changes. However, there is a very notable change in the intermediary hallway prior where you have the portal between unstationary scaffolds, and that is the usage of the green pellet. If you're as much of a portal freak as I am, you should be losing your goddamn mind over this thing. This green pellet has only ever had one other appearance ever, being used in Chamber 19 as an obstacle as you ride the final one stationary scaffold. The fact that they used it again here as an obstacle in an area for an unstationary scaffold is almost amusing. The main difference between this green pellet and the Chamber 19 pellet, however, is that this pellet is bouncing off metal surfaces, meaning that it cannot be rid of with portals, unlike the Chamber 19 counterpart. I think that's enough about the green pellet. Seriously, I think I just need an excuse to talk about it a little bit, because the absolute mindfuck of seeing it appear somewhere else like this feels insane. When it comes to Test Chamber 16's original advanced chamber, this marks one of the first instances in which the beta version is actually the easier one compared to the retail version, as the first turret is removed in the beta version of Advanced Chamber 16. You can clearly see, though, that they had the idea of caging the turrets to make them vulnerable to player pickup or object collision fairly early on. However, there is also one absolutely minuscule difference that no one will care about except me. It is the fact that because the turrets in this version are more primitive version of these cages, they are flush to the floor and not raised 4 units like the retail version. But the beta version of these cages are floating 2 units above the ground. Absolutely disgraceful. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, the floatingness even isn't even consistent. Some of these turrets have cages that float 1 unit off the ground. There's this lad here who actually recognized his cage should be flush to the ground, good on him. And some of these motherfuckers dare to be 4 units above the ground. Boy, I sure hope someone got fired for this blunt. Test Chamber 17 is even more unchanged compared to its normal version in the beta. Except they have the ball incorporated already, so I suppose that's nice to see you already here. But though I can't really see anything else, it's obviously- Oh, right. Them. Yep, someone on the team legitimately thought, Hey, what if we put Half-Life 2 main hacks into an advanced test chamber? We already have everything here code-wise. 
and the sons of bitches went and did it. Absolutely incredible. Besides the bull and man hacks, there's no major changes to the test chamber otherwise. Everything's the same, and in a similar case chamber 14, the lack of playtesting has meant that the portal bomb exploit that skipped the chamber is still here. What is peculiar, however, is that the unused fling area is still absent from the puzzle, which is incredibly interesting because the retail version of Advanced Chamber 17 utilizes it. If you were wondering, yes, you can't destroy the manhacks with enough effort, you just have to use the ball to kill them. The energy pellets don't work on them if you're about to suggest that. Manhacks are also capable of going through portals, so if you really want to experiment, you could try and get a manhack to crush itself or something. The manhacks ultimately are kind of just an irritant and don't really increase the puzzle difficulty in any way other than artificially. Though they have gotten me thinking about what an average science version of manhacks could look like. So, for the creatively inclined people in the audience right now, you could try and make a design and show it to me in my Discord or something if you want to give it a shot. Now we've reached the final advanced test chamber we'll be covering, being the beta version of test chamber 18 and oh 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 oh. Oh, okay. So the original version of Advanced Chamber 18 moves the exit all the way down to the entry area, but still leaves the button where it is. Besides the moved exit, Advanced Chamber 18 is honestly not that changed into its retail version, still requiring a lot of precise portal shots to solve and a lot of ninja maneuvers to do so. This test chamber seems to be the least changed from the beta to final version. Something incredibly amusing is that in the final game, the Pelicash is still spawned in its location, due to an ENV entity makeup entity being present that wasn't yet deleted. Somehow, this entity is deleted in the 2006 version of the Advanced Test Chamber. This is due to the fact that the 2006 chambers, which were suffixed with underscore hard, were not renamed into the underscore advanced suffix used in the final game. Instead, the retail advanced chambers are rebuilt using the retail version of test chambers, which makes sense development-wise why they do so. Though I'm not going to let the 2006 version of Chamber 18 go unscathed here. The elevator in the normal version clips both into a prospect era remnant observation deck and a background area of some pistons, for shame. Hey, just editing this in from the future here, it turns out all the advanced test chambers actually feature level transitions between each other, indicating that it'll possibly meant to take place as one continuous secondary campaign compared to the retail's choose level structure for the advanced chambers. What's even more crazy is that with these level transitions in mind, I went and checked the internal level entities for advanced chambers 13 and 19. While advanced 13's level transition still says it comes from a normal version of chamber 12, what's truly bizarre is that advanced chamber 18 points to a level that does not exist, being advanced version chamber 19. This had to be an intentional addition to the level as the underscore hard suffix is not automatic, meaning that there's likely plans for an advanced chamber 19 in place. Crazy stuff. With that however, that covers our analysis of the portal's original advanced chambers. What do you think? Were the changes made in the retail version for the better, or do you prefer some of the aspects of these beta originals? Say your thoughts in the comments below. I have a Discord server, a Twitter account, and a newly opened Patreon if you want to support me. If you missed it, Richter Overtime, fellow content creator and good friend of mine, just recently released a collab video with me talking about Portal's cut Zen ending. So, if you need to satisfy your Portal 1 beta fix, definitely check that out as well. Link will be in the description. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all return in my next video. Peace.